Thank you, everybody, so much for being here. And I know that it was not uh, an easy trip to come out in the rain and uh, endure all the kind of weather, but we, I think we put on a pretty good show today, don't you think? Uh, I just want to uh, thank my partner here, Kristen Neville, and I um, got involved in this festival five years ago, and uh, we're blessed that we, 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 we were able to put this together after John Osborne kind of put the seed into this jazz scene in Springfield. And we obviously have a jazz scene here. It's unbelievable how many people love this music and come out, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I just want to, before I introduce our next speaker, I want to um, just say that it's been a blessing to have known Charles Neville. Um, the, the short time that I've known him, it was, um, he inspired me in so many ways. And um, I'm blessed to have been in his company. And I'm blessed to have all of you here and have Springfield realize the potential that this festival is so obviously points out that we are a great city and a great part of the universe, and uh, thank you for being here. And finally, I'd like to introduce our mayor, Dominic Sarno, who has championed the Jazz Festival and has been a supporter. And look at how beautiful this place looks. It's because of his people who work for the city who came out and busted their buns to get this place looking so spectacular. This city is totally changed. It's so beautiful, and I'm so happy that I could be part of it. Thank you. How we feel in Springfield? Let's give a big round of applause. I call him the Renaissance man. Evan Plotkin with this vision to bring a beautiful mosaic of all creed, colors, and backgrounds. Springfield, Western Massachusetts, New England, and New York to the heart of downtown Springfield. Evan, thank you very, very much. To all our generous benefactors and business community, let's give them a big round of applause. Because of their efforts, this is a free jazz concert that rivals many others across the country. Tonight we come together as one, and that is something that Charles Neville always strived for. This is a gentleman renowned, not only in New Orleans, across the United States, and in the world, but he was always so humble, so genuine, so kind, so creative, so giving of his spirit of music to bring all of us together to be able to partake in these events. And now he is up in heaven. He's making beautiful music up there. But through his wife Kristen, son Khalif, son Talon, his legacy will continue to live on with this stage being named the Charles Neville Stage and Jazz Fest. So as he looks down upon us from heaven, he's got a big smile on his face. The horn man has a big smile on his face because it's just a little bit of rain. But as they say in Hollywood or in the movies, the show must go on. Charles has a tremendous biography. You can read that online, many, many things here, how giving he was, how well respected. But we officially want to declare it, whereas Charles Neville remains an enduring inspiration for the city of Springfield. His legacy is alive in his students and family and all who have good fortune to hear him play. The festival is an ongoing partnership with the community music school, serve as a living monument to his life, career, ensuring that music will continue to inspire and uplift our community. Prior to this, it's all his great career that he had, but that's what meant the most to him. Therefore, I, Dominic J. Sarno, Mayor of the City of Springfield, 
do hereby proclaim Saturday, August 11, 2018, as Charles Neville Day in the city of Springfield. And I urge all our citizens not only to be aware of the Springfield Jazz and Roots Festival, but more importantly, to celebrate day in and day out the life of the great Charles Neville and the spirit of great music. Kristen Khalif Talon, to you, I hand wrote it here. He was always a gentleman, humble, kind, so creative. His legacy will live on through you and this jazz fest. May God rest his soul as he makes beautiful music up in heaven. God bless you. God bless your families. And God bless our city of Springfield. Thank you for coming to downtown Springfield. And now you're going to hear that music continue in the family of Charles Neville. On the clarinet, Kristen Neville. At the piano, you've heard him before, Khalif Neville. On the bass, very special, also local treasure, our very own Avery Sharp. And at the drums, the youngest one who is continuing the tradition, Talon Neville. <laughs> 